So how complicated is the HVAC system in your home? It keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. To put it simply, it keeps the cool or warm air flowing through your home conditioned to your liking. The conditioned air is pushed by a fan through duct work that spreads throughout your home. It's not uncommon for many ducts to branch off the heating and cooling unit in your basement. As the tempered air enters the rooms of your home, it pushes other air through the return vents back to the HVAC unit to be recycled again. Homeowners have the ability to adjust the temperature in different areas of their home, each controlled with its own thermostat. For example, you can choose to heat one area of your home while providing a different temperature to another. It's called zoned climate control. It's meant to keep you comfortable throughout your house. But with new advances in heating technologies and smart thermostats, zoned systems have reached a whole new level. Megan recently checked out one of these new systems. Meet PJ Kalb. He's been a heating and cooling specialist for 32 years, and he knows all about zone temperature control in homes. So PJ, explain to us what a zone system is. A zone system is uh, separate thermostats in different parts of the home. So for instance, if we have a two-story house, you could have a zone system and have a thermostat in the basement, a thermostat on main floor, and a thermostat on second floor, and keep those separate areas whatever temperature you'd like. The furnace will actually operate and uh, open and close the dampers that go to these different areas to send air to those areas separately uh, depending on, on the needs. So for instance, if we have applications where uh, uh, it's a family with kids and the kids are playing downstairs at, at, uh, in the evening hours, we can have that zone come up to temperature to say 68 degrees to keep them comfortable down there. Uh, when they're at school during the day, we can set the zone down on second floor if that's where the bedrooms are for the kids to uh, uh, save a little energy there and, and uh, keep that a little cooler. So how many zones can someone set up for their particular home and are there other variables to consider? It depends on the application and how big the house is and what size zones we're dealing with. We don't want to get zones that are too small to where we're uh, not moving enough air to that particular zone. Explain the system behind us. This is kind of a high-end system, right? This works in conjunction with uh, with what they call a communicating furnace and a Wi-Fi thermostat. And what's nice with this system is uh, if we have a smaller zone calling, this will adjust the dampers in the other zones and push a little air to those zones as needed to keep this furnace from overheating. The biggest thing with the zone system that we gotta watch is we don't want uh, uh, a smaller zone calling for heat and all of a sudden now we start overheating the furnace and damage the furnace. If there are viewers that are thinking, okay, well if, if all of these dampers are working within the system, can't I just close the dampers myself? You do have to watch that because if they shut them down too far, then we're not going to be, uh, we're going to raise the static pressure, we're not going to move enough air, and that furnace is going to overheat. A lot of systems we have, uh, when we just replace a furnace, we put what we call balancing dampers in, which allow the homeowners to adjust the dampers to certain areas of the home, but we don't want them completely shutting them like a zone system would do, but that allows them to shut them down a little bit to force air to different areas, but usually that's done seasonally, spring and fall. Okay, and is that an energy saving technique or is it really more for comfort? Uh, it's more for comfort, but it will be somewhat of an energy saving technique and it, the biggest thing though is comfort to where, say we got a lower level and it's not as comfortable down there, we can push more heat there it makes it more livable. All right, and, and once again, touching on the system behind us, is that um, something that can be retrofitted? It seems it seems pretty big and uh, This particular system probably cannot be retrofitted if it's, uh, say you have a 10-year-old furnace, but we do have zone systems that'll work with that type of application to, to make it a little more efficient and uh, make the house more comfortable. Let's talk a little bit about cost too. What's the investment for something like this? Uh, depending on how big the house is and how many zones we're going to put in. Most zone systems start out around $2,500 and they'll go up from there depending on the application. Okay, incredible technology. If you're looking to upgrade your HVAC system, be sure you check with your utility company because there may be a rebate available for you. PowerhouseTV.com provides you with loads of energy saving tips and ideas, but here's something you may not know. 
According to Energy Star, dirty coils reduce an HVAC system's ability to cool your home and cause the system to run longer, increasing energy costs, and reducing the life of the equipment. While airflow problems can reduce the efficiency of your system by up to 15%.